If you look on the board behind me over here, you'll see that we've taken down Ellie Elephant. And that is because we are now going to learn our new sound. And our new sound's name is Fern Fairy. Now, Fern Fairy says, can you hear that? Fern Fairy says, Let's read Fern Fairy's story. Fern Fairy, Fern Fairy, where are you? Looking for feathers every day In the forest along the way We see the fox, we see the frog Fern Fairy, Fern Fairy, where are you? Now that we've read all about Fern Fairy, let us listen to Fern Fairy's song and then we can learn it together. The Story of Fern Fairy Oh, what a beautiful day, thought Fern Fairy when she woke up early one fresh February morning. She was lying on her little bed of moss in her house under the fern leaves in the forest. She could see the sun peeking through the foliage and she could hear the birds chirping happily in the trees above. She had an excited feeling in her tummy like butterflies fluttering. Today it was her fifth birthday and her fairy friends were coming to tea. What joy! She could hardly wait. She fluttered her wings and flew off to collect a feast of flowers for their tea. Now Fern Fairy's favourite hobby was collecting feathers. She loved to find them hidden in the forest and she was very proud of her collection. All her friends gave her different feathers for her birthday. But there was just one trick. They had to come from birds whose names started with a f, just like her name. She received many feathers that February morning from the falcon, the finch, the forest weaver, the feral pigeon. But her best and her favourite was the flamingo feather, a rare find in this part of the forest, and it was as pink and fluffy as can be. What a lucky fairy she was to have such fantastic feathers, and such wonderful fairy friends too. The end. Are you guys ready to learn the Fern Fairy song? Great! So I'll say it first and then you can say it after me. First we need to make our Fern Fairy wings. Are you ready? Let's learn the Fern Fairy song. Fern Fairy Fern Fairy where are you? Looking for feathers every day in the forest along the way. We see the fox. We see the frogs. Fern Fairy, Fern Fairy, where are you? Good job, are we going to try it with the music? Let's go! Frog, fern fairy fern. 
Now I know it's been a really long time since we sang all our Alpha Land songs together, but do you think we can sing them from the beginning? I know we can. Let's go. Let's all go to Alpha Land, to Alpha Land, to Alpha Land, where we can sing our alphabet all at once. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Where's your apple? Your bats. Hit ball with bat, just look at that. Bat and ball, bounce up ball. Take turns to bat, take turns to ball. It's only fair if you share. Curly clown, curly clown, turning upside down. Just to make the children see how funny he can be. Danny lives in the desert, it is dusty and dry. Danny the dinosaur with his friend tries to the dragonfly. Any the elephant can't sit on an egg Cause any elephant is far too big Any elephant is afraid of a mouse Even though he's as big as a house We've learned all about Fern Fairy. Now it's time to see what other words start with the sound f. Let's see our f poster. And there it is. Now on this side we've got a fairy, just like Fern Fairy. Then next, who knows what this is called? It's called a Flag, and this here is the South African flag. And what number have we got here? The number four. Good job. Then next to the number four, we have a flower, a happy flower. Back to the side, we've got, this was the animal we were learning about in forest animals. It's a fox. Good job with the big fluffy tail. Then we've got a feather that Fern Fairy looks for. And you know what this is. It's a fire truck. Good job. And this is a frog and a fish. And what number is this? Number five. Okay, now we're going to read it together. So remember... I'll say it first, and then you can say it after me. Are you ready? Let's go. F for fairy. F for flag. F for four. F for flower. F for fox. 
for feather, for fire truck, for frog, for fish, and last we've got for five. Good job. I want you to think very carefully. Is there anyone in the elephant class whose name starts with Think, think, think carefully. Is there anyone in our class? Yes, there is. And that person is Frederick. Frederick's name starts with So we're going to put Frederick's name up here with Fern. Theory. And there we go. We have learned all about Fern Fairy. Now it's time to, for us to learn how to write it. So I've got my writing house. Remember, I've got a roof. I've got my cupboard. And I've got my grass. Let's write Fern Fairy. Big Fern Fairy starts at the top and her body goes from the top of the roof down to the floor. Then Fern Fairy's got a hat that protects her from the sun when she's collecting flowers. Then Fern Fairy's got a short arm to put her flowers on the cupboard. And there you go. That's a big fern fairy. Almost looks like an Ellie elephant, hey? Now we're going to write the small fern fairy. And small fern fairy looks like a walking stick. She's got a hook at the top that goes to the roof. And she's got a straight body that goes down to the grass. See, she's got a hook and a straight body that goes to the grass. Then she's got short little arms that she can use to find her flowers. Now we can practice writing Fern Fairy together. So I've just got a white paper that I can practice on. And I've got my crayons ready and now I can practice. I'm going to make a big Fern Fairy with purple. So remember we start by the roof and we go down to the floor. Then we make Fern Fairy's hat and her short arm to put her flowers on the cupboard. You can practice this as many times as you like. Then my small Fern Fairy I'm going to use dark blue and Small Fern Fairy is by the roof. So we make our hook down to the floor and her short little arms to find flowers. Now, if Mommy and Daddy says you can, I've also sent you a paper like this. Now remember, you use blue to find the big fern fairies like this one and you must use red to find the small fern fairies like this one. Then remember at the top we can write our name. You can use your worker pencil or a crayon if you want. Remember if you go over the line it's Fine. Then there's a fern fairy for you to colour in as well as a fish. Then we've got our big fern fairies that you can do with your worker pencil but I'm going to use black so that you can see it. And you can do all of them all over across the page. Then under it you can practice it by yourself. See how many fern fairies you can fit in.
Then if you look here, this one's a little silly. Fern fairy is a little bit short. Because remember, fern fairy goes to the roof. So just practice. Go to the roof, down and her short arms. Make her hook to the roof, down and short arms. Don't worry. If that's a little bit hard, you can practice on the dots. Fix the dotted lines. Then at right at the bottom, you can do it yourself. But now I want you to try get Fern Fairy's hook all the way to the roof. And there we go. You can practice Fern Fairy all by yourself.